to be taking a look at the iClick, which is a mains controller. Um, it can be used with either traditional wired switches, wireless switches, and it controls electrical devices. So anything that you plug into the mains electricity, we can control with the switches. The unique feature of the iClick is that you can also control it from your iPad. So we can start to give users some degree of environmental control without over impacting on them. So to start with let's just take a look at uh, using the iClick with traditional switches. So you will see on the side of the iClick there are two switch sockets marked number one and number two. That is where you would plug your wired switches in and that relates to your electrical sockets one and two. Um, also on the front you will see that there is the mode selector at the bottom. At the moment the socket stroke simply works is highlighted. That means we are configured to be using it with the switches whether that be the socket switches or the wireless switches from the Simply Works range. To switch modes we press the button here and you can see we've moved on to the environment mode that will be covered in a different video that's taking environmental control to the next level or press again and we go into iPad mode. When we're in iPad mode we're controlling from the iPad again we'll look at that later on. So let's cycle back round so we're in switch mode. Okay so we're set up we're ready to use it with switches so now we plug our switches into the iClick. So I plug one of my switches into socket one and the other of my switches into socket two. So this switch is now working the device that I am going to plug in to socket one. This unit gets plugged into socket number two and we're all ready to go. Now to change how the switches work with the device when you're using it with switches you again use the settings with on, within the device itself and you can see under the settings if I press that we are in direct mode. Okay in direct mode when I press the switch it will work for as long as the switch is being held. I can go into latch mode, a lot of these may be familiar to you, but latch mode means you press the switch, it comes on, you press the switch again and it will turn off. You can have it in a timed mode by seconds, you can have it in a timed mode by minutes. Another couple of unique features of the iClick is we have a cooperative mode. In cooperative mode we can set it so that the two, the two switches have to work in combination together before a selection is made. Great for uh, getting students or pupils to work together. And then the last choice is on off. Again for some users a switch having two different functions can be quite confusing so we could put it in on off mode and then that time one switch will turn it on the other switch will turn it off. All these settings are made on the unit so let's go back to direct mode. The two buttons at the top are to do with the Simply Works wireless switches so that is just for pairing your, your switches so I would pair one wireless switch to socket one the other wireless switch to socket two and we could do it without any wires so that could be much less restrictive for the students. Okay so we're all ready to go, we have the devices plugged in, we have the switches plugged in and we're in direct mode. So if I press switch one, unit one will work as long as I hold the switch down for it because I'm in direct mode. And likewise the other switch will turn the other electrical device on. These electrical devices could be anything. I'm using lights because it's, it's easy for demonstration but it could be fans, it could be food blenders, it could be old-fashioned radios, 
lots the, the the opportunities are endless but for the sake of this purpose we're just using two different lights as at the moment so you can see it's very simple again if I move to latched mode press my switch now and it will continue to run until I press my switch again to stop it seconds and minutes they will just work for a certain period of time and then stop these are very good for cause and effect on certain activities so you can use that again it stops now and you encourage the user to press the switch again to get more reward or stimuli the unique ones are the cooperative mode. So now in cooperative mode, if I press this switch, nothing happens. If I press that switch, nothing happens. If I press them both together, the units work. And then when I remove off any one of them, it stops. So that's cooperative mode. And then the last is on off. So in this mode, I've got it set socket one always switches on socket two switches off so i've gone with the green and red as in traffic lights green for go red for stop okay so we've got the control there so that is the eye click in its traditional mode with switches which is all quite straightforward what we'll do next is look at the unit with the ipad so let me just reconfigure things at this end clear my desk a little bit and we'll start again in a second okay let's take a look at the eye click in ipad mode now so what we do is on the mode button on the eye click switch from sockets to ipad and then we can put the eye click back down from then on all the control of this device is done through the ipad when you first get the eye click go to the app store and download the free I click app I have mine here once you have downloaded the app here it is if we and as you can see I have it represented as we did with the switches before so now we're in iPad mode this is controlling device number one and the red one is controlling device number two as when we were using traditional switches so you can see it's all very straightforward but what we can do now is let's go and take a look at the settings because I have used this device before in the settings you can see that it's already connected with this is connecting via Bluetooth but you do so from within the app you don't even have to go out of the app to the Bluetooth settings to pair it within the app the connection the Bluetooth connection will show here and it will give you your eye click each eye click has its own unique identifier so if you have more than one in your building you will know which one because there's a, a, a label on the bottom of the eye click that corresponds to this number here so we've got the device connected and you can see that here are the settings as they were on the device for traditional switches we now control from within the iPad at the moment hopefully you'll be able to read this but we you can see that we are we have the check mark against direct mode but we've got latched timed we've got some additional cooperative so we can do different things with the cooperative modes on the ipad and we've got the on off again and this is relates to button one on the eye click and this relates to button two on the eye click okay moving down the choices you can set the timer here for whichever period you want you can have the bu buttons look either flat or dimensional but the real nice thing about the buttons is not only can we have them represented by uh, a color but if we go into the button here we can choose what that button looks like and if we want we can use photos so I'm going to choose here and I'm going to choose some gallery because I prepared one earlier otherwise you can actually take a photo again you stay totally within this app you don't have to go out to your camera you stay within the app you choose take a photo 
take a quick picture of the device you want to control and that becomes your button. For ease here I'm going to go into the unit and choose, oh not that one, I'm setting up button 1 to start with. So go into my photos and choose the fish tank and I will accept that as my button. Click done and then for button number 2 which was the red one which is the disco ball again choose from gallery go to my photos and I have the disco ball there accept that one once those selections are made I press done we're back into the settings here I've got new icons for my switches and I'll leave it in direct mode click done and we're back out so now instead of having the colour buttons we have that direct relationship between the button and the end unit so do I want the fish tank or do I want the disco ball so it's all very simple all from within the app very easy to use and configure okay hope you found this all very useful thank you very much Hello. One of the questions we often get asked when people are considering the iClick is what electrical device can they use with it? Will it work with their TV for instance? Unfortunately it doesn't work with every electrical device. Basically what this unit is doing is removing all the electricity from the device and then giving it back. So one way of testing that out is let me unplug my iClick from my mains electric and I will plug in my device directly into the wall socket and you can see it's operational if I unplug the unit it stops if I plug it back in it carries on where it left off a good test to see whether your device will work with the iClick is if you plug it into the wall when it's turned on and unplug it and then plug it back in does it carry on where it left off or does it come back in standby mode unfortunately most televisions come back in standby mode same goes for CD players music players those kind of things so not everything will work but this is a very simple quick test to find out what will okay thank you